my dudes, my name is Cecilia and welcome to another week in my kitchen here in Stockholm, Sweden. This week we have my lovely friend Lucia and we are going to be making halloumi donuts. And why are we making halloumi donuts? Well, a few years ago I was traveling in Australia and enrolled in a surf camp. <laughs> um, Classic. But I don't have any upper body strength at all, so I discovered that was a bad idea and I mm. hung out at a cafe all day instead and found these amazing donuts and I've been pestering uh, Cecilia for the past it's like three, three years, years now to make literally them. three years and today is my lucky day like finally yes. we're making them yes so do you have the recipe yes we've never done this before we're just going for it and taking you guys along with us so what we're gonna do is we're gonna halve the recipe right because it's um, quite large do you want to start with the halloumi yeah sure okay so in the recipe you're supposed to like use a food processor I don't have one so we're gonna use a box grater and a knife and then we needed three eggs, right? So I think now you can tell that you're the professional. I'm still trying to open it. <laughs> Is it working? Yeah. It might be donut with a side of fingers, but mm. 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 Yummy. yummy. And then I needed 100 grams of flour. Not flour, milk. This is actually going surprisingly well. Oh, good. good, okay. And then one teaspoon of vanilla which is half a teaspoon, which I'm just going to eyeball because I'm a professional. Good enough. That was way that was more than way a more. Way more than it's a like teaspoon. It's like a tablespoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's just extra flavor. It's fine. It's okay. Wow, I added a lot of vanilla. I saw that you did. Do Yum. you think that we should like chop yeah, maybe this a I little bit? Yeah. In here, I'm going to add half of 380 is 190. Wow. I know. I thought I was the one who was good at math. I, I you are much better, but I, that's why I said it out loud so that you could <laughs> let you know check my numbers. Mine. Yes. My brain was working so fast on that because I didn't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> There's that. What's next? Baking powder. 10, Ten grams. Jinx, you want me a soda? Wait, hold on. What is Jinx in Swedish again? Smurf. I don't okay. know why. Actually. Okay. I don't know where that comes from. But anyway, yeah. Jinx is smurf. smurf. Like Smurf. Like the Smurf. Like the Smurf. Okay, what else? I need sugar so, in this, right? Break halloumi up and blitz. Whisk together milk, <clears throat> vanilla, and eggs in a separate bowl. Mix all the dry ingredients. Mix wet into dry and then fold in the halloumi. Let chill for an hour or up to two days. <laughs> Do you want to scale while I hold yep. my ginormous yep, yep, yep. container of sugar? What did I say? 50 grams, right? 50, yeah. Good thing I had enough sugar at home. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Double check. Cool, that should be everything then. It says mix the... What's it? Okay, mix? professional, yes. let us idiots know. Does it matter if you mix the wet into the dry or the dry into the wet? It depends on whether you're using a stand mixer or mixing in a bowl. So if I was making muffins or like in this case, I would like make a little divot like this and put my wets into my dries and then mix it. I mm -hmm. think that's easier because as you stir the wets around, then it kind of picks up more and more flour and that tends to be easier at least for me mm. if i was doing like a bread dough or something and i yeah. had a stand mixer then i would want to put liquids first so i wouldn't get any flour sticking to the bottom of my bowl as the bread was like mixing and then i also don't get any liquid like sloshing over the sides mm. so i think it depends on whether you're using a stand mixer or whether you're using one of these types of bowls and then the consistency if you're making like a batter it's oftentimes better to put wets into dries whereas if i'm making a dough i find it easier to do dries into wets but i mean if you did it the other way around it's not like you would your entire donut recipe is ruined it's just a little bit easier i feel like oh this is like stiff but then i guess donut batter is quite stodgy right uh, yeah, I think so. Everyone who I told I was going to make this was like, <laughs> you ridiculous. Bring this is cheese like, in a donut. This is everyone I've, uh, the same with me. Yeah. Everyone I've told I'm going to make halloumi donuts, they're like, they're savory. I'm like, no, no, they're sweet. They're like, salt? <laughs> like, no one understands. Okay, so I think we just put a little bit of plastic wrap over the yeah, top. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. And then into the fridge for at least one hour. But you have a meeting anyway, so it's going to be perfect. 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 Yay. And we're back. You have had your meeting. It went well. It has been 
almost two hours, an hour and a half, something like that. Something yeah. like that. So now it is time for donuts. So giant pot, much oil. I don't what know. kind of oil are you using? Oh, just regular canola oil, Rax Olia, in Swedish. Um, okay, well that's all the oil I have, so that's all the oil that we're going to work with. I think it's going to be fine. So, pot on heat. Mm -hmm. Batter. Mm -hmm. How's it looking? Very soft. This is going to be interesting. Were you not expecting it to be? I thought it would firm up a little bit, but there's no like fat in but it. But it's to... properly cold, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. It said we need an ice cream scoop. Do you have? Of course you do. Obviously. Of Obviously. Yum. And then I want my thermometer. Here we go. Okay. Great. This way we know how hot the oil is. Do we want to make cinnamon sugar? Yep. Here okay. is a bowl. And then the cinnamon you'll find in the drawer. Are we just going to free bake this? Yeah. I think it's just a lot of sugar and a lot right. of cinnamon. One kind of cup? Uh, more than that. I would take so that the cup is full. I think so this is also my know. first time actually encountering an American one cup. And then a healthy amount of cinnamon and then... Blueberry jam for the filling. Should pay attention to how hot this is. Probably. Can I use this? Yeah, of course. Like from a like children's <laughs> children. kind of kitchen. My yeah, my IKEA children's set, obviously. <laughs> Makes perfect <laughs> sense. Okay, so Wait, let's how see. hot is the oil supposed to get? I'm gonna guess that it should get to like 350, 375, because that's what I Celsius. No, God, Fahrenheit. I have no idea. Uh, that's going to be like 180 Celsius is what I'm I'm assuming. Because that's I'm what I would bake the, it at. You should just look at I it. should look at the recipe. Hundred. Wow, you are such a pro. 180 centigrade, 350 Fahrenheit. It's like I know what I'm doing. Shockingly. Yeah, it is shocking. Okay, use an ice cream scoop to scoop the batter. Cook for five minutes, turning over halfway. Dust and cinnamon sugar while still hot. Poke a hole with a chopstick, that handy baking tool, and pipe some blueberry jam inside. Yeah. Okay, and I'm okay. filling my piping bag with my blueberry jam. If you look in the cutlery drawer, there should be toothpicks in there. Okay. It did say chopstick. What did I say? Toothpick. Oh, I meant chopstick. Listen to what I mean, not to what I say. Mm -hmm. As I said to everyone who has ever worked with me in a restaurant. Now we have our blueberry jam. All nice in our beautiful little piping bag mm -hmm. here. And then I told you before. Oh yeah, you got extra types of sugar. I do. From previous videos, I have vanilla sugar and cardamom sugar just for funsies. Okay, this is now like really hot, yeah. so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. So I'm just gonna go for it. Do it. I'm having a little bonsai garden moment. I miss. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just making sure that they're not sticking to the bottom. Yeah, my temperature is so way hotter than it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, they're just, they're turning by themselves. I'm not gonna lie, they're not very attractive. They look like, I don't even know what they look like. But it's okay. You know what, the first ones are always a little bit funky, though. It smells like fried food. Mm, yeah, it, it really does. Food. Which I guess isn't that surprising that it smells like fried food. Shocking. When we are, in fact, frying food. Can you tell me what did you just say? It smells like county fair? It smells like the What's, county fair. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> This is one of those cultural moments. <laughs> okay. okay, so every summer you have the county <laughs> fair where, so it started as a way for like all the farmers to meet up, I think, and then you would have like, you know, a nicest cow, nicest pig. Okay, I thought that you were from Los Angeles, not like- We do have the, the, at the <laughs> LA County Fair, but county fairs then evolved, not theme parks, but like, no, like with rides yeah. and stuff. But fair food is always like deep fried because America. Yeah, no, I, I like corn dogs is a classic. On you know when you have, <laughs> I've seen these things. This is what's so fun. I think you see so many things on like TV about America and you're just like, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dust and cinnamon while still hot. It says so. Dust, Lucia. Dust. Woo! Twinkles. Oh. Why isn't it sticking there? I don't know. It got really like unoily really fast. Unoily, healthy, healthy donut with cheese in it. So put that there. Yeah. Make a nice little hole. Hole. I don't even know. 
Oh, I'm pretty sure it's, hold on, sorry. This one's going to be a little messed up. Oh, it's definitely still raw in the middle. But the others have been in The other ones good. will be fine. You can try one more, because that's a nice goldeny brown. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Now we're making a hole, big hole. Wait. Three years later. Finally. Finally. Am I gonna eat this like this now? Sure. Well, yeah, because it has to be. Think I'm gonna like burn my mouth. Probably. Mm. <laughs> yeah. If you wanna do these, and I'll mm -hmm. have the other half of this. Mm, but it's good. It's still like soft. Mm. And it's also funny because it really does not taste like cheese. No, it doesn't take. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Right. No, something else. Right. When the halloumi kind of just disappears. Maybe it gives it like a salty, a little saltiness. Yeah, just a bit. I also thought that the blueberry jam would be more like blueberry. I mean, a donut's a donut. No, it's really good. The texture is great. I would say that I think the ones that I had before were kind of softer. Oh. Like this is a bit more like hard shell, whereas the ones I think I had. In Australia were more kind of typical donut you know that's a bit spongy almost yeah I think this is gonna be a bit like pancakes you know like when the first batch is just not quite as good and then you get the hang of it yeah they are not that pretty but you know a lot of real love went into these yes so a lot of love something wrong with the batter or if it's the temperature yeah I don't know because so when I've made donuts before mm -hmm. uh, you make like a dough uh, like a like a cardamom dough, but uh -huh. without cardamom, okay. and then you punch it out, and then you fry uh -huh. that. Okay, which is much more like, elasticy and kind of yeah. So this is more like a fried batter, but in like a French donut is more like it's not like this, but it's more of a squishy thing. Uh -huh, okay. American like these round up. I never eaten one because I'm not Homer Simpson. No. But it, I think it's much <laughs> more stiff. Right? I had an aversion to eating things that don't look like food. So like something covered in sort of pink glaze to me looks mm, not like inedible food. in comparison to these, you know, beautiful donuts that we right. make. Right. Mm. Mm? <laughs> I'm gonna go. Maybe I could just cheat and eat this. I almost want them to be saltier. Is that just like my palate's totally messed up? No, you could be right. Yeah, maybe that would be something. I'm just surprised, like, I really can't taste the halloumi. Yeah, like, not at all. But still, they are really good. Like, But they are still good. Beyond being, like, overly crystal. Um, okay, you know, they're kind of giving me chicken nugget. I mean, like, a huge chicken nugget. The chicken nuggets that didn't make it through quality <laughs> <laughs> Do we also want to use, on the last two, we can have one vanilla and one cardamom? Sure. Just for funsies? Just for funsies. Okay, so that one's the vanilla. Yeah, they really need to be like right out of the fat for be, any of them. Yeah, more like wet. They could have been just like a little bit oilier. Mm. These are also really fast. Like there was, it's a long time to wait for them in the refrigerator. Or not even an hour is not that long. But like no. they fry really fast. The batter comes together really fast. Mm. So that's Quick nice and easy donut. Quick and easy donut for when you just really want some fried food. They're not beautiful, but... I think they're really nice. Like, it, it's a very sexy drip you got going on here. That's it. And now we have a bunch of donuts to eat. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking, I mean, it's Friday night, so... Wild yeah. Friday night. Thank you so much for, you know, making my dream come true. You're welcome. Hello, me donuts. That's what I'm here for, is to make baked goods for people. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this week's video, then go ahead and check out this video next. And hopefully I'll see you around next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>